I thought it was pretty awesome to get to go to the White House, but I think that's what any kid would think. But I thought about it in a different way because I know how Medicaid impacts kids like me because it really does make a difference in our lives. My husband and I are the parents of two wonderful children. Matthew is 14 and Laura is 11. Both of our kids have mitochondrial disorders, which is a form of muscular dystrophy. And so we, they have very significant pulmonary, cardiac, GI, and neuromuscular issues. My husband is a school teacher and we were very fortunate when our son was born to have very good health care insurance. And we were comfortable and confident that we would be able to meet the needs of our children. Within six months, we were in rather significant medical debt, and that debt continued to accumulate for a number of years. We had to wait a number of years to have a slot in what's called a Medicaid waiver program, which allows us to access Medicaid for our children in addition to their private health care. Both kids have been on it, Matthew for about four years and Laura for about three. And in that time, we've been able to stop accruing significant medical debt. But until that happened, we really struggled to the point of often not having enough money to pay for the other necessities of life, including food. From the second my daughter was born, in Pennsylvania, we were provided with Medicaid as a backup insurance. So throughout my daughter's life, we've been able to get everything she needs to be a healthy person. And she has a very complex and rare condition called pulmonary hypertension. The main symptom with pulmonary hypertension is tiredness. And it's a kind of tiredness that's hard for typical people to even understand. Like, people can be so tired, just daily living activities like showering and so on can, can really drain them. So this gives, these medicines have helped her to have the energy to live life. And then she told how she has sleep apnea. And any condition like that could make pulmonary hypertension much worse. But through Medicaid, she is on BiPAP, and she is a night nurse daily who assists her with the BiPAP and makes sure her breathing is stable at night. And lastly, she shared how having hearing aids that she gets through Medicaid helps her in school to do better. My daughter, Carissa, is 14, going into high school. She also happens to have Down syndrome, but she's included in our local school. She's an active participant in community and school plays. She plays basketball. She's at camp right now. And all of these things are possible because I can access the health care that we need. And I always like to say, when Carissa is doing well, that means my other children, myself and my husband, also can have the opportunity to live full lives as well. We have always had private insurance and very generous private insurance as Sarah's primary source of coverage, but Medicaid has made a big difference to us in providing wraparound services and wraparound supports to her. Because we had that access, because we had those additional supports, Robert wasn't forced to stop working so that we could qualify for Medicaid based on income. We kept our private insurance for our entire family, and we stopped the downward slide into medical debt and possible bankruptcy that we were on before we got access to Medicaid. Um, I really think that because we've never had to make a choice between what we can afford and what Sarah needs, because we've always been able to get for her what she needs, she became medically stable relatively quickly in her childhood, and I was able to go back to school and back to work as a result. So this has had a really important impact on our family's financial stability, but also on Sarah's physical health and well-being, on our health and well-being. It's reduced the stress on Robert and I, and it certainly allowed us the, the wherewithal to be able to get the medical care that we need. And it's just improved the quality of our family's life tremendously. Instead of um, approaching the meeting where we had information that we needed to tell the policymakers and the senior administration officials who were in the meeting, it was more of a two-way conversation, which I was really excited about. Um, and they were very receptive to the information that we had to offer them. They asked really good questions in follow-up. 
and they also gave us some information about what was going on from their perspective and how they were working to help defend Medicaid uh, for kids with special health care needs and their families. And the sense I got was that the administration is hugely supportive of maintaining Medicaid. They are almost surprised by some of the recent attacks on it. They very much were in support of us getting our stories out because they feel many people don't understand the multiple faces of who really benefits and uses Medicaid. I left the meeting really feeling the sense of urgency and how critical it is for this message to get out. I think it's easy to look at Medicaid and think of it as a program for the very poor, which in fact it does provide much needed health care services to some of our nation's most vulnerable children, but it also is a critical part of the health care services and delivery system for children with special health care needs. Um, they asked us a lot about what would change if we didn't have Medicaid. And some of the things I told them is I wouldn't have a computer, so I wouldn't be able to write at all because I can't write with my hands. But I want to be an author when I grow up, so I would never get the chance to do that. Mm -hmm.